Uh, so today I'll be proving that a parabola has a focus and a focus such that um, there's a directrix here, it's a distance p away, and the focus here is also a distance p. So the distance between the focus and directrix is 2p, all right? And then furthermore, there's the further property that distance, this distance from here to here equals this distance from there to there, all right? And here, here's the outline of the proof. So instead of assuming that a parabola equals y equals x squared, I'm going to assume that the parabola has these properties. And then from there, if I can get those properties into y equals x squared, then the proof will be complete. All right. So, okay, let's, let's, let's start doing what I've said. So we're going to assume this parabola for, um, for simplicity. Let's assume the parabola is on the orange, uh, situated, situated on the origin. Oh, that's a bad parabola, but whatever. Nah, I should redraw it. Let me just go here. Okay. And uh, let's draw our directrix. Let's draw focus here, here, and it goes all the way down there. And these distance from here to here are, are the same. Now, how do, we, how do we describe that in mathematical terms? How do you say these two distances are the same? Well, um, I, the first thing I want you to notice here is that this distance right here is y. From here to here, the distance is y. From here to here, the distance is x, okay? Because uh, this is a point on a Cartesian plane. So from here to here would be y, from here to here would be x, okay? Now, what is this distance from here? Well, we know, we, let's just say this distance is p. So this distance from here to here would be p plus y. So we get that p plus y equals, well, what is this distance? We can use Pythagorean's theorem. So what's the height of this triangle and what's the base of the triangle? Well, the base of the triangle is just um, x squared. So we can x squared root that, all right? And then um, what's the height? Well, this is p and this is y. And we're trying to find this distance from here to here. So yeah, this distance from here to here. Well, that's just p minus y. So plus p minus y. Hopefully you can see that. This, is, this distance from here to here is the height of the triangle, right? And we're trying to use Pythagorean's theorem, we're trying to find this distance. So um, from here to here is p. And from here to here is y. Then that means from here to here is p minus y. Okay, now we have this formula. So um, let's square both sides. So um, p squared plus 2py plus y squared equals x squared plus, I'm just gonna factor everything out, plus y squared, okay? And um, some things cancel out, p squared cancel out, 4py stays the same though, y squared cancels out. So we get 4py, I'm just gonna show you, equal x squared, and then finally we get y equal one, or x squared, over 4p and that's the proof so um, again here's here's how the proof worked uh, instead of assuming that a parabola equal y equal x, um, if, instead of starting from y equal x squared I started from the property that the distance from here to here equals the distance from here to here so I first started with that property and then from that property I derived the parabola so that means a parabola must have this property if that makes sense. So if this, then this, okay? So that means you can make another if statement. So if this, then that, all right? So uh, these are mutual, com these are converses. And yeah, and that was the essence of my argument. Thank you.